So, welcome to A Cusco Uncut. If this is your first time to A Cusco Uncut, we just hit record on the camera and we roll it. Put a little intro. And that's it. Ah, because the other two videos we do a week are extremely edited. Music, all that good stuff. And ooh, don't hurt yourself there. And I asked a few places. I asked on Discord with our Patreon. I asked uh, on other people's Patreon Discords. I asked uh, some friends. I asked like, what should we, what are some good topics for me to talk about this week? I'm, I've got ideas of like what I want to talk about or what I was feeling to talk about. And everybody came back with different snake topics to talk about. And I, I really, I'm not feeling the snake topics. I'm good, bud. If you hit me in the face, hit me in the face. I'll suffer the consequences, no problem. So, I wanted to talk about how I'm feeling, things that I'm personally going through, which is something I talk about sometimes on the channel. And I always go back and forth between like talking about what people want to hear me talk about versus just what I feel like talking about. And I'm constantly torn between those two things. Um, I'm still going to put a post up here on YouTube for those of you that do have subscriptions, subscription and notifications turned on, so that you have a chance to ask me to talk about something that you actually want to hear instead of just me talking about what it is I want to talk about regardless of what you want to hear but it is me and it is what the things I feel and that's what this channel is it's my it's my public diary so I talk about things from time to time that are really driving through my brain and heart often which this is going to be emotional political more the former than the latter but because I'm not I'm really not a very political person but with everything that's been going on in our place here in the United States uh, things have been somewhat hard to ignore and it's really not I, I find myself leaning towards more conservative views I guess than than I would have ever imagined I have you know grew up playing in a band um, and my political convictions don't really matter all that much in my opinion because Back in 2013, 2012, because of my cannabis conviction, I'm not allowed to vote anyway. So it doesn't matter which direction I lean. I have, I have no effect other than just my opinions and, and speaking on things. Not that I ever honestly believed that um, voting ever mattered in the first place. I think they just kind of put whoever they want in there. Uh, it's my personal belief. I've got nothing to prove that, and I'm not going to claim that I know what I'm talking about. But it's just it's just how I feel. It's just how I feel. And... Um, I've been having thoughts recently about like moving out of California just because of different things that I won't get into specifically, um, but different things that the government is stepping in and wanting to do things that I, I, <laughs> I'm not going to do, I'm not going to allow it to happen. And, but the issue is that I, I do love it here. We do live in a slightly more, um, what I consider to be a more conservative part of the state, I guess. I've, I've heard it's more conservative here. It seems to be. I, I love it here, personally. Um, and all of my family, most, most of my family is here in California, and that's a big driving factor for not wanting to leave the state. Working with Freedom Breeder, that's here in California. I, I, I want to stay here very much. I love where we're at. Um, but if the state starts coming in and trying to tell me how to live, like, on some of my deepest levels, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to do something either. And I don't want to have to break the law. I'm, I feel like I'm done with that part of my life. I want to... I want to be a law-abiding and good citizen of, of wherever I live and not need to break laws even though I've lived illegal so much of my life. Um, it's just not me anymore. But anyway, that's, that's kind of where I'm, where I'm at. I guess that's physical or emotional and political tied into one. That's kind of what I've been feeling and going through. And I meant to bring a snake out here at least so I could at least sit with a snake and have a snake. So, But for the moment... <laughs> well, you don't like the seed? Yeah, yeah, the seed, the seed doesn't taste that great. I wouldn't recommend eating the seeds. <laughs> you want me to eat the seed? <laughs> Let me see if it's as bad as you say it is. Daddy? What's up, bud? Can you please help me get my bike down? Can I help you get your bike down? Sure, let me help get Leia out of her seat first. No, I'm not going to eat the seed. Leia, are you done swinging? Yeah? Okay, anyway, that's, that's my little bit of rant. It's not that big a deal. It's just kind of where, where my emotions are at with, um, the political stuff going on. I, uh, there's always political stuff happening. I, I rarely, rarely talk about it on the channel because that's not what this channel is about. But this channel is about me. 
It's called Brian Cusco. That's, that's what it's about. And that's what I'm feeling today. And maybe this video won't even go up. Maybe I'll get a topic from you guys that I actually feel like I want to talk about. Because all the snake topics people said they wanted to hear me talk about. Like, I don't really know that much about snakes compared to a lot of people out there. That's when I had Vin Russo on the live stream um, last week. I, I was like, dude, you need to start a channel. But he brought up a good point. He wrote a couple of books. If you want that information, they're all in the books. But I feel like there's so many people that have so much more knowledge and information than me about reptiles and snakes in general. Be love to have, I'd love to, oh, oh like, it's, it's, speaking of which, uh, Mr. Gary Schiavino has a channel. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the link in the description down below for Gary's channel because he just started it recently. It's doing very well for very good reason, I think. He's got lots of good information about specific species. He's got a great sense of humor. He's a humble guy. He's got everything that I would want to see in a channel that has reptiles. He doesn't ever, he probably doesn't get all ridiculous like me and talk about, um, my emotions and political views and all that stuff which you know i'm sure people are like god that this is the this is the moment when many people probably unsubscribe <laughs> which is fine dude like that I, that's fine like i I, lo I love what i do with my channel even when i have these little mini breakdowns which i realize very much of what i'm talking about here and i'm gonna go get a snake there's a snake that had a fresh shed or burmese python in fact i'm gonna get lay out of her swing one-handed hopefully and we'll go check out that burmese python but there are other things. Oh man, I lost my train of thought. I shouldn't have done that. <sighs> there was one other. Th <laughs> there was one other thing I was gonna mention. Um, besides, oh, oh, just how I feel in general about like life and and the people and it ties into the political and the feelings. I just, I just really, as much as despite how I feel about certain things and my beliefs on certain things, at the core of my being. I really just want people to get along and that's what makes me the happiest is when people are able to uh, have different views and still able to get along. I think that's a theme I've gone through a lot on this channel and uh, I go back to this moment that I had when I was 23, I believe it was 23, it was New Year's Eve, that would have been 2004, no, how old am I? Anyway, it was like a party, it was like a, at this warehouse or something, oh, you okay? I'll put you down. Go for it. You're the master of your own destiny. Master of your own reality, not destiny. Sorry, you're destined for whatever you're destined for, but master of your own reality. Live it, Leia. At this party, New Year's party. It was just after midnight. I think maybe some people didn't get to kiss the people they wanted to kiss or something like that, but I, I, I walk out and it's like a warehouse somewhere on the edge of town. And it was cool, it was, it was fun, it was like a little cool party. <laughs> but I'm walking outside, so things are starting to get hostile outside. And I walk outside and there's like people about to fight, like just kind of like a little mob-ish, brawl-ish thing starting to brew. Nobody had actually like gotten physical violence, but it was like right there. It was like right there about to like, people were about to, like fists were cocking back. And I just walked out and from the pit of my soul just said, Happy New Year. And what I said was Happy New Year, but what I meant was could we please just realize that this is ridiculous and let's just enjoy ourselves. No matter what petty thing we seem to be fighting over at this moment, let's just enjoy the moment. And for whatever reason, it worked. And everybody like stopped mid like fist cock and looked over at me and just like everybody kind of came over and was like, oh yeah, Happy New Year, gave hugs and it was over. I was like, I wish I could do that all the time everywhere. I wish that's like really what I would, I would love to be able to just do that all the time for all these situations where people are fighting over the dumbest things when in reality we should just be working together. I mean, it seems so simple in my mind, but people are complicated. Not nearly as complicated as snakes, which is probably why people want to hear me talk about snakes, because it's not nearly as complicated and doesn't bring up nearly as many crazy emotions that probably a lot of people don't want to feel or talk about. But, yeah, I'm trying to set this so we can go and check out this snake. Ah, dark for a minute. Bear with me. Turn it up. Open it up. So, that, that's that basically. And, and I realize that I'm extremely privileged for these to be the things that I'm feeling and talking about. That's how I feel about it. I feel fortunate that these are the things I get to spend my time thinking about. I'm not worried about getting water tonight. We've got running water. We've got backups on water. We've got plenty of food. We've got a healthy family. Like the blessings upon blessings just keep pouring out. I've hashed out three visual sunset clutches from a head to head pairing three years in a row. The blessings just pile upon blessing upon blessing. I've got nothing to complain about in this life, in this world. Yet, being a human, 
The human condition seems that you can never just be satisfied no matter how good your life gets. The satisfaction just comes and goes. Can't get no satisfaction. Come on over, baby. Just don't hurt me. You're good. So, this is our Burmese Python, Roxanne. Hypo Burmese Python, and she just had a fresh shed today, and she's looking absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. She likes to huff and puff, but she's absolutely gentle, giant, and there she goes. <laughs> I'm gonna let her be. Obviously, she doesn't want to hang out with me right now. We hung out all day this morning, actually, so we had a big hangout session upstairs, and she cuddled in my lap, but yeah, get your cocoa blocks. That's it for me today, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that or got bike. some good... Oh yeah, your bike. I'm supposed to get your bike. Let me finish this video. I'll, I'll grab your bike, bud. Anyways, thank you guys for all your constant support and love and good vibes. You guys are always bringing the channel. I'll continue to do my best to do the same and bring the same. If you got something you want to hear me talk about on an uncut, besides <coughs> this ridiculous stuff I've been talking about there, well, it's not ridiculous, actually. It's what I'm feeling in my heart. It's what I'm feeling in my soul. So it's what I'm talking about. But if you have any ideas for what you'd like to hear me talk about in the future, I will talk about anything and mean it.